Welcome back guys and here are the top five upcoming games that has already been announced and all the games on this list are one of the most anticipated games of 2024 and beyond. Now some of these games don't exactly have a release date but it's said to be coming out sometime between 2024 to 2025 and beyond. Now starting off the list with the first one and one of my all-time favorites which is the Crimson Desert. Now this game was originally set to be an open but then the developers kind of seem to have changed their minds and they decided to not go for an MMO game and rather just go for a single player RPG open world. So the game's entire genre was completely just changed out of nowhere. Now currently Crimson Desert is set to be one of the most anticipated games. And for those of you guys who have played games like The Witcher and Elder Scrolls Skyrim and also Kingdom Come Deliverance, that one game I honestly did not expect it to be as good as what it was. Thanks to all of you guys for suggesting that in the comments down below i did go ahead and try kingdom come deliverance and that game is just absolute masterpiece now if you're looking for crimson desert this game is pretty much coming out with a same concept it's an open world rpg single player game and my god the combat system in this game is just absolutely nuts you got dragons in the game you got horses you got some sword fights you got magic you got wizardry and open world is just contained with so much stuff that you can do that i don't think that any other upcoming open world games that set in the medieval times are going to be delivering such an amazing game. Now Crimson Desert was originally said to be coming out on Q2 of 2024 but then recently just a month ago in December the developers of Crimson Desert stated that the game is actually delayed and rather than releasing on Q2 of 2024 it's now going to be set to Q2 of 2025. And now guys moving on to the next game which is Max Payne 1 and 2 Remake. Now as as we know rockstar games is very busy when it comes to grand theft auto 6 as well as gta online updates and a bunch of things that they're working with 5m in order to make a bunch of role-playing content for gta online and who knows even gta 6 online rockstar games is always secretive when it comes to all of their upcoming projects but they've already made an official announcement that remedy entertainment who's part of rockstar games is now currently developing max Payne 1 and 2's complete remake make and the best part about this is that this game is coming out for pc ps5 and xbox series x now if you are not satisfied with that then i got even better news because max Payne 1 and 2 remake is actually being remade with the same engine that was used to develop alan wake 2 now as we know alan wake 2 is one of the critically acclaimed best photorealistic looking games out there and just imagine recreating a max Payne game in the same engine with all of the reflections and ray tracing which absolutely just blew the minds off for all of the graphic enthusiasts out there due to some of the incredible graphical features that Unreal Engine 5.2 with some of the features that was used in Alan Wake 2. Now the same thing is also going to be used for the remake of Max Payne 1 and 2 and yes this game is set to be coming out sometime in 2025 and 2026. Now as we know the Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be coming out in 2025 so most likely Rockstar Games will not be competing against their own games. So they might postpone the launch of this game all the way to 2026. And moving up to the next game guys, this game is called Rooted. Now for those of you guys who have been extremely disappointed by the flawed launch of the day before, I know a lot of you guys, including myself, were super upset that the game just came out of nowhere and then the game was completely just shut down. So I know we are kind of looking for a video game that should come up that kind of looks like the day before and has all of the ambition that the day before had to carry out, but at the same time this game is actually real unlike the day before this game actually went into alpha phase and some of my friends on the youtube space did actually get their hands on this game they played this game and it seems like this game actually has a lot of positive feedbacks and at this point it's an open world survival game pretty much like the day before but then there are no zombies you're going to be fighting off some sort of machines in this game rather than zombies now although i think that maybe just adding zombies would be a lot more fun than machines I'm not a big fan of machines, but it seems like the Rooted is actually going in for a very different approach this time. And I think the developers are actually doing some fantastic job and all of the progressions in order to develop this game is also being shared on their official Twitter page. Unlike the day before, we absolutely had no idea what's going on with that game because that game was complete fake. But Rooted seems like a very promising game. And as far as what they've shared so far, it's a pretty good game, to be honest. Now, unfortunately, Rooted is only going to 
be releasing on the PC versions on Epic Games and Steam, but then the developers have also said that they have future plans to release this game on console, meaning the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But as of now, they don't really have enough sources and the developers are also kind of scared whether or not if this game is going to flop or maybe it's going to blow up. It all depends on the success of this game as to whether or not if this game is going to be coming out for the console versions. Now, lads, moving up to the next game, which is Indiana Jones. Now, as we know, now Bethesda Softworks has already announced that they are working on Indiana Jones games. This is something that's completely out of the blue and nobody expected to see an Indiana Jones games. And Bethesda just made an official announcement. Now, of course, whatever footage that you guys are seeing is basically just for a display purpose. This is not how the Indiana Jones games look like. It's just a background video I wanted to play so that you guys could kind of figure out on what type of a game that's going to be coming out. Now, this upcoming Indiana Jones game is set to be releasing in 2024. And this game is only going to be an exclusive for Xbox Series X as well as for the PC versions. Unfortunately, I know a lot of PlayStation fans have been looking forward to this game, but Microsoft were quick enough. They beat Sony and they now own Indiana Jones. And the reason behind it is because they already purchased Bethesda, which I honestly think that, you know, Microsoft should have been a little bit more friendly towards all the gamers and let Bethesda release the games on all the platforms rather than just making it exclusive to Microsoft and Xbox. Because we know that Xbox doesn't have much players in it. And obviously, if they would have released this game on the other platforms, maybe they could have made more sales or maybe in the future they could make more sales. It's just my personal opinion. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about it? Now, moving up to the next game, guys. This game is called Ark Raiders. Now, it's a free to play game. It's apparently an open world PvP slash PvE game where you're going to be fighting against machines, machines taking over the world and taking over humanity in general. So you're going to be fighting against machines. It's basically an extraction shooter game and has a kind of mixture with battle royal kind of an element. Now, as you guys might have heard of extraction games like Escape from Tarkov, and there are plenty of other games out there, which I personally don't know much of. You can also take an example of Hunting Grounds. So there are plenty of extraction games out there, and this is one of these games. But something is special about this game, which is how the visuals of this games work. Now, this game is being developed with Unreal Engine 5.2, which is why the game just looks fabulous in terms of visual fidelity. And the best part about it, it's that it's free to play. Everyone can play this game, and it's coming out for all the platforms, meaning the PS5, Xbox Series X, as well as for the PC version. And the best part is yet to be said, which is this game is going to be cross-platform across all of the platforms. So the developers of our creators actually did a play test on Steam for this game, which took place on June 29th of 2023. And this play test actually did pretty well. And a lot of good feedbacks came out of it. And we also got some pre-alpha footage from the play test that they did. And apparently this game is going on good in terms of development. And most likely we'll be seeing more about this game and more information could be coming out since the game is currently under NDA. They're not going to be sharing much information until or unless they've completed the project. So we'll see more about this game this year. Apparently it's supposed to be coming out sometime in 2024. We don't have an exact release date yet, but the best part is that it's free to play like a set. Now with that comes to an end to all the upcoming five games that's going to be coming out in 2024 slash 2025 and beyond. Now, of course, lads, I want to go ahead and add a bonus and just say the Grand Theft Auto 6 is also going to be coming out in 2025. Now, the reason I didn't want to include it is because, you know, most of you guys know what GTA 6 is and the entire gaming world knows about GTA 6. So I didn't want to just make a fuss about it or make an entire video just, you know, putting GTA 6 in there. So you guys know it. It's coming out in 2025. Now, if you guys think that I missed out on some of the upcoming games, then feel free to go ahead, leave them down below in the comments. I would love to read those games out and most probably I'll feature them on my next video. So if you guys think that any upcoming indie game or any game that people usually might have never heard of before is out there and it needs recognition, then this channel right here is the one stop shop. So make sure to go ahead, feel free to comment and share your thoughts down below in the comment section. And with that being said, if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that basically covers all the upcoming latest and the greatest information, leaks, updates, gameplays, trailers, and basically 
all the stuff that you guys need about video games is going to be available right here on my channel so make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free of cost and at the same time if you guys are subscribed you're going to stay updated with all the latest content and news and every single thing that you guys need to know about gaming every single day so it's a win-win for you guys as well as for me in order to grow this community now if you guys could just go ahead and show your support by simply just dropping a like on this video for any of the one game that you guys might have found exciting in this video that would really mean a lot to me so let's please take a few seconds of your valuable time drop a like on this video really means a lot to me and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye